This is the first year I've done an after eight calendar. I wanted something a little bit different and I am a sucker for mint and chocolate. It is the best combination. I also have a fantasy advent calendar that I bought off of Etsy and I've been opening that every day on TikTok. You already know what this is my coffee advent calendar. I haven't actually had any of these coffees yet so far because I am not having caffeine right now. I actually have a very fun, cozy video. You guys already know from the title. I need to unplug more. That little challenge for myself to read 100 pages of a book every single day for the next week. I have a stack of books here and my Kindle. If I could read super fast and read more than 100 pages a day, this would be the goal for my reading. But I know I'm not gonna get through all of these. These are just kind of what I've had my eye on. So first and foremost, Iron Flame, which I dented the cover and I will never forgive myself. My bookmark is right here at the end. I think I probably have like one chapter left. This is up first to finish and this is gonna be spoiler free. I'm not gonna tell you anything that's actually happening in the books, but I will give you my opinion on them. The next book on my list is something completely different for me. I'm usually a fantasy romance girl or just a fantasy girl in general. This author is everywhere. Most of you guys have probably read this book already, but I went to the bookstore this weekend with Jenny and she said, you need to read this book because she knows my book taste and I was trying to branch out. I didn't want to read like a contemporary romance necessarily. I hate anything cheesy romance. I can't stand that. I need some sort of like drama intensity. So she recommended Verity. She said it's her favorite Colleen Hoover book. I know every bitch has read this. I'm late to the game. I've never read a Colleen Hoover book. I don't actually know what this is about. All anyone ever says is it's fucked. I don't know. This is another non-fantasy book, Red Rising. This is a sci-fi book. I have really been wanting to start this series. It's very highly recommended. If I happen to finish two whole books in a week, which never happens for me, I love Jennifer Armentrout. I'm a huge fan of her. This is a brand new series. This is a fantasy romance, my typical genre. On my Kindle, I have also started Manacult. Now Manacult is like an a thousand page fan fiction. So this I will not be reading in this video. I just wanted to include it because I am reading it right now. So that's the sack. That's what we've got. I gave Fourth Wing 4.75. I said that I loved it. The plot and concept was fantastic. Fast paced, lots of action. This book felt like it was so rushed. Like she rushed to write it and it was like a first draft and she didn't even review it. It was so boring and I don't like being super harsh but I found myself getting frustrated while reading it. Nothing happened for probably this far. Nothing happened. It was just constant characters arguing. That's all it was. It was just characters arguing for basically the whole book. So much dialogue and not a lot of action. Like it was just so much slower and so much different than Fourth Wing. The main female character is always so angry. Some of the lines in this, I don't remember physically cringing at some of the lines and like the writing like romance wise. It was just cheesy at some points. And oh, I'm so sad because <laughs> the first book was so good. I don't know how you guys feel about it because I've seen so many mixed reviews. The end was great, which is so annoying because now I have to read the next one when it comes out because it's of course a massive cliffhanger and it was really good, really good twist. And that's the first book already done because I only have like one chapter left. <laughs> It is in fact 
the next day. I didn't plan for this to be the first thing that we were baking together in this video. I wanted it to be all Christmas themed baking things, but I physically can't get rid of these bananas and they are quite literally on their very last leg. So we are being forced into making banana bread, which I've been meaning to make banana bread anyway, because I have this kind of recipe that I threw together and I've been meaning to tweak it a little bit. So this is kind of perfect. I just pulled up my own Instagram story. These are in my highlights for my original recipe. Now I also forgot to put baking soda, is it? Yeah, so I forgot to make this one with baking soda and it was terrible. I think this time I wanna add some salt. I'm taking out the maple syrup because I don't think I need it. I'm gonna do three bananas instead. And I think I'm gonna try less oats so that I don't need to put as much milk and maybe a little bit less flour. God, I hope these aren't too far gone. This is fine, right? Ugh, I hate bananas. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> I shouldn't put the dark parts in, right? I really hope these aren't too far gone. Oh my god, this one is mush. Like, is that fine? Am I gonna be sick? This is literally mush. I need to Google this. After a quick Google, I think this is still fine. It smells completely fine, so I think it's okay. If I'm sick, whatever. Banana bread is in the oven, and while that's cooking, I'm gonna do a little 30 minute at home Pilates. My workout was done. When I had probably about 10 minutes left, the doorbell rang and I had my new mirror delivered. So I'll show you guys my new mirror. It's the one I put in my office. It was one of my only Black Friday purchases. Is this zoomed in? No, it's just, it's just really close to me. I took my banana bread out. She's a little burnt. It did burn the top. Always something with this banana bread. The first time I made it, it was so good. And then the next time I made it, I forgot to put the baking powder in and it never rose. And it had to be in the oven for like an hour and 20 minutes to even be edible. And then this time I burnt the top, but maybe it tastes good, I don't know. Oh my God, this looks terrible, wait. Oh my God, this is totally fine. If you ignore the top, like look at that. That looks pretty good, eh? Like nice and spongy and banana bready. Let me try a piece. That looks pretty good. Mmm. And you just ignore the top. It's actually good. That's delicious. You know what? Whatever. Mmm. I meant to save this and eat it when I was reading, but I guess I'll have to have another piece. This was my old office mirror. Remember? Okay, remember these sides, how close they are. Now. It's four times the size. I wanted something that I could stand in and you like wouldn't see the frame. I've been wanting a giant mirror for a long time and this one was like 50% off on Black Friday. It is much later than I wanted to be starting my reading for the day, but I got very busy working. So I'm all showered now. I have my Christmas jammies on. I have my Harry Potter Christmas ambiance on in the background. I have my tree on have my burnt banana bread, and I have my books. I made a dent yesterday. I read 171 pages yesterday. Yay. I got to page 150 in Verity. I couldn't put this bitch down. And if I didn't have other work responsibilities, I would have read the whole thing. And last night, I actually started Red Rising to read before bed. Both great so far, completely different vibes. Verity I'm obsessed with. I can't stop saying the word Verity. That name evokes something in me and I'm not sure why I'm so obsessed with it, but I'm adding it to my baby names list on my phone because Verity is the most beautiful word I've ever heard. Like I can't stop saying it. I'll literally just be like filling up my water bottle and be like Verity. Verity. This is a psychological thriller. It's very mysterious, kind of like eerie, spooky, very much you can't put it down. I totally understand the hype now and I can't wait to see what happens. I have so many theories. Red Rising is giving me Dune and Hunger Games. The concept of Red Rising, I didn't even know what Red Rising was about before I picked it up. 
but it takes place on Mars, which is so cool. And there's different colors that are different levels of people. So it's very much like Hungary and how like the capital is the best. And here the golds are the best and then the grays. This guy, the main character is a red. So that's like very far down the totem pole. So that would be like Katniss out over in whatever it's called, 12. But I find the writing to be more similar to Dune. So very up my alley. And I can't wait to continue to read both of these. Good morning, December. Six today. This is my other advent calendar. I effed up a little bit. I thought this was like a fantasy book advent calendar. I think it's just fantasy in general though after I've opened a few days. I am a day behind, so let's open this. Little day five and then day six. Aw, it's a little pin book that opens up to the night sky. This is very night court coded. What is... <laughs> Wait, this is so cool. It's a little dragon and it's like, what is this made of? Let me know where I should put him or like, what do I, do I put him on the tree? I don't know what to do with him, how to display him. Back to the books. I'm gonna finish Verity probably now. I did get to my 100 pages yesterday. I read 103 pages of Verity and 29 of Red Rising, which is 132 pages total for Tuesday. Woohoo! I absolutely ate this up. <laughs> this book was so good. What are your other recommendations from her slash similar books to this? Because the suspense, every page I was entertained. I kept wanting to know what was going on. There was never a slow part. And after coming from reading Iron Flame, which was the slowest book in the entire world and such a disappointment, I am on a high after finishing this book. It ends kind of with a question mark and I'm not gonna spoil anything. I'm not gonna say anything. I think I'm gonna dive into TikTok to see what people think is true. Hopefully my girl Jennifer Armitrout can deliver. I have not seen a lot of people talk about this book. From Blood and Ash was not good. Fire in the Flesh was very good. So those are her two series I've read. I'm hoping this lands on the very good spectrum because th this, I gave five stars. I went to Goodreads right away gave her a quick five stars because if a book can keep me entertained every single page and I don't want to put it down, five stars. Good morning. Okay. I got a few things. We're gonna start this video off with a little bit of a haul. I went to Superstore. Did I need another treat? No, but the quality of this is insane. Eggs. There is some fun stuff in here. It's not just groceries. A restock of my favorite salsa to put on my avocado toast. It's so good. It's by La Costeña. Chili sauce, because we put this on our salmon. Butter, because we're baking cookies today. Actual Christmas cookies. And then I did get four boxes of puffins peanut butter cereal for my boyfriend he absolutely loves this shit and it was on sale so i grabbed him four nice juicy butternut squash two things of fair life milk egg whites two bags of our absolute favorite popcorn in the entire world. They only have this at Christmas time. Boom Chicka Pop, white chocolatey and peppermint flavored drizzled kettle corn. I'm not exactly sure why I wanted to get these, but they're these little snowflake sprinkles. I kind of got this for myself. <sighs> I was thinking about getting it to give to my brother for Christmas, but I just don't think he cares about mugs that much. Whereas I am a mug connoisseur. I still haven't decided if I want to give this to him or if I want to keep it. It's a Pickle Rick mug. I should have got two. I should have got two. I should have got one for him, one for me. What was I thinking? And there's like little hot cocoa mixes in it. So it was a very cute little gift thing. But the handle is a pickle, it's Pickle Rick. From Rick and Morty. No, I'm obsessed with this. And then I got, okay, there's, did I get more pajamas? Yes, I did get more Christmas pajamas. It's physically impossible for me to look around Joe Fresh during Christmas time and not get pajamas. I originally had these like gray bottoms that had little candy canes on them in my cart, but they weren't as soft and they weren't stretchy. I need my pajamas to be stretchy. 
And these are like the most buttery, silky, like bouncy. This is my favorite type of like pajama material. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. So I got the button up shirt and I had to get the matching pants. I'm telling you, Joe Fresh for pajamas. It is the best place. That is where I get most of my Christmas pajamas. Two packs of Linden chocolates. So I got peppermint cookie and candy cane because I need to refill my chocolate container. This will be the third time I'm filling this up because I keep eating all the chocolate I'm putting in it, which is the point of it. Oh, that's my haul. These are me gone in a few days, let's be real. I'm really on a chocolate addiction right now, like big time. I, this always happens to me at Christmas. My chocolate stash is refilled. Let's see how long this lasts me. <laughs> baking which i usually hate baking this is why this is why this this is why i like my counter to have nothing on it at all times and baking just stresses me out timing everything stresses me out i got this as a gift it was a gift this is my first time making these cookies so i'm gonna try the dough right now it looks really good it smells really good i hope i oh it seems to be a good texture I think I did a good job. <sighs> this is like eating fudge. This is literally like eating fudge. I'm crushing it. I'm like a kid. I can't wait to eat all of this. I'm gonna eat all of this. I can't believe this dough. Mm. This is the best part of baking though. This is the best part of baking. and start to like tear up. I was really drying the dishes and then you just get like a, you know that feeling where you have like a swell of emotion and you don't even know why and then your brain is like racing. Does this happen to other people or am I just getting my period? <laughs> I don't even know my train of thought. I was thinking about having like a kid one day and I was like, this is so cute and like bake cookies together and then I was like tearing up. And I was like, what if I never have a kid? And then I never get to decorate cookies with him or her. Like how sad is that? My brain really spirals sometimes.
time to taste test. I'm also filming this for TikTok, so if I'm looking at that camera, I apologize to you guys. Okay. I was eating the batter and it literally tasted like fudge. Mmm. Oh, 10 out of 10. These are even better than I thought. That might be the best cookie I've ever made. Let me show you guys the recipe too. It's from an actual cookbook. So you can screenshot it. Oh, holy shit, that's good. This is the book. Beth got it for me for my birthday, a little cutie. This is the recipe. So go ahead and screenshot. This day is literally escaping me. I just did a little Pilates workout. Then I showered, did my full skincare routine. I have my pajamas on, got my bedtime braid in. I'm basically ready for bed already. And I am gonna sit here and read my books. I'm not gonna do a big update on those right now because I am already stressed. I haven't read a single page today and I have to read a hundred pages before I go to bed. So I need to do that and yesterday, I just did the calculations. I read 99 pages. I blame my boyfriend. It is literally his fault, okay? Because I could have easily read another page, but I could feel him getting agitated that the light was still on while he was trying to sleep. So I had to put my book down because I'm a good girlfriend and I was gonna let him get his beauty sleep. But now I got 99 pages one page away from my goal but it's fine because on day one i read 171 and yesterday i read 132 so as long as i get to 100 today i think being one page behind yesterday is fine but like one page is worse than like 10 pages one page so busy and I didn't really have time to finish up this vlog and then on Monday morning which was yesterday I drove to Toronto and had a very busy day with the night swim team in Toronto and I'm actually in a hotel right now and then we have some more work to do today but I brought this book with me and I read I like couldn't put it down last night I actually really really like this book I'm very happy with it this is the fall of Ruin and Wrath by Jennifer Armentrout I really like it at the beginning I was kind of like this feels very similar to her other stories. Like there's a lot of similar tropes, a lot of similar just like characters, but after finishing it and it ends on such a cliffhanger, I really, really loved it. I think I'm gonna give it like a, I don't know what I wanna rate it, like 4.75 or possibly five. It was very smutty. So if you're not into that, you might not like it. There's also a lot of fantasy concepts. So if you're new to fantasy, this might be kind of a confusing book because even sometimes I found myself being like, why is there so many different elements? And I think a lot of it will be explained a lot in the next book as well. I don't know, I really liked it. I really like the main male character. He's spicy, I like him. Oh my, my arm was hurt. My face is so puffy today. Like more than normal. I don't know, like it. it's crazy, like swollen this morning. 
Ugh, my page counts. So I was supposed to do 100 pages a day and I, I didn't average, so I added them all up. Monday I did 171, Tuesday 132, Wednesday 99, Thursday 85, Friday I did get to 105, which was nice. So if you average all of those, that's 118 point four pages per day so I'm gonna count that as a, as a success okay and I did read on the weekend and I did finish this entire book so you know what that's pretty good that's pretty good for me that's like two books in 10 days that's pretty good for me and this one was over 400 pages that's gonna be it for this read bake hangout cozy vlog and I will see you guys in the next one